Hi, I'm Kaylin from Bluewear, and thank you so much for joining me in another installment of the Best Buy video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to go over the advanced functions of the document display screen. The document display screen is argued to be one of the most important screens within the system because it is a screen in which you can see and manipulate documents within Best Buy. The various functions that you can do within the document display screen include viewing documents side by side, printing documents, rotating documents, and zooming in and zooming out of the documents. Are you ready to learn more? Let's get started. To access the document display screen, you must have first isolated either a patient encounter or a specific document from multiple access points. The various access points include patient search, encounter select, encounter search, document search, or finally, the patient demographic header. Once you have the document display screen open to the patient you're interested in viewing, you will be presented with three main sections of the screen, the patient demographic header, the file plan off to the left, and the document viewer off to the right. The patient demographic header always informs you which patient you're looking at and exists on all screens that pertain to an, in an individual patient, including encounter select, document display, patient demographics, and the audit log screens. The file plan imitates the indexing methods of the paper record that your facility used historically for the patient's medical record. It's organized in a tabular fashion with documents embedded beneath each tab that they pertain to. The document viewer on the right hand side of the screen displays the documents you've selected from the file plan. Documents viewable in the Best Bond document viewer include PDFs, JPGs, GIFs, MP3s, MP4s, MPEGs, TIFFs, HTMLs, XMLs, CSVs, etc. Let's go into a little bit more detail about each section of the screen. Since we went over the patient demographic header in the last video, Encounter Select and Patient Demographics, I'm going to skip over it for now, but feel free to watch the video again if you feel you need a refresher course. Let's move on to the file plan. The file plan is the section of the document display screen that presents the patient's documents in the structure that imitates the paper chart in a tabular fashion. It's located on the left-hand side of the screen. It's important to note that it is designed as a frame, which means that if you'd like to extend the file plan to make it larger, you can do so by dragging with your mouse. Likewise, you can shrink the file plan in the same way. If you decide not to extend, you can still see the information that's hidden by using the scroll bar at the bottom of the file plan. By default, the file plan is in the state of Collapse All, meaning that all of the tabs are closed and you are unable to click on the documents within the tab. To open a tab, you can either click on the little arrow to the left-hand side of the tab to extend it, or just in one big sweep, you can click on the Expand All button to expand all of the tabs to view all of the documents that may be presented on the screen. Likewise, the Collapse All button will do the reverse, meaning it will close all of the tabs that are opened. Across the top of the file plan, below the Expand All and Collapse All buttons, you'll see the column headers that read Description, Encounter ID, etc. Best Bond's file plan allows you to hide columns you're not interested in viewing to save your screen's quote-unquote real estate. When you hover your mouse over one of the columns, it will show a little arrow on the right-hand side of it. If you click on the arrow, a drop-down menu will appear. From here, you can hide or unhide any columns you'd like by checking or unchecking the column in the menu. You can also see that you are able to sort columns by alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order. It's important to note here that you will sort by the column you clicked on. In other words, you can go into the drop-down menu and choose to sort, but the sort will be based on the column you've selected. Or, a faster way to do this is just by clicking on the column header itself. So now let's click on a document.
When we click on a document, you will see that it will display in the document viewer. Likewise, clicking on another document will replace the previous document in the viewer. But, if we just hold down the control button on our keyboard at the same time as selecting the second document, we will be presented with a split screen. Remember, this will only work if you're holding down the control key on your keyboard. VestBond has a limit to four split screens open at one time. Split screen is a useful function for when you need to compare two or more documents at the same time, often for before and after comparisons. You will see in the file plan that each document also has a checkbox associated with it. When you select documents by clicking on the box, you can print the documents by clicking on the Print Checked Documents button next to the Collapse and Expand buttons. Documents will only be printed if they're printable documents and if they're selected with the checkbox. In other words, you cannot print a sound file or a video file. Please note that every action within BestBond is audited, including printing. Over in the document viewer, when you have a document open, you will see icons at the top of the document. These icons represent exactly what you would think they would represent. Zoom in, zoom out, rotate right, and rotate left. When you click on the zoom in or out buttons, you will see that the documents will zoom about 10% every time you click. When you click on the rotate buttons, the documents will rotate 45 degrees every time you click. That concludes the material of this video. In the next video, we're going to go over the audit log screens as well as the favorites functions. Thank you so much for joining me in the video tutorial series. And as always, on behalf of everyone from Blueware, thank you so much for using BestBond. Until next time.